Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPD. I'm doing a little quick video for a customer of mine who has a, uh, he purchased the Fox here mix and um, I'll show you the bench here we're working on right now. And he says that under a five volt signal, he is not getting any feedback. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my AC to DC regulator and, or, uh, and I'm going to uh, get it to read five volts, okay? And that way we'll know we're in the right spot. So let me go ahead and turn it down. Okay, so there's eh, five volts. It can go a little above five volts, I guess, but main thing is to make sure we're at five volts. All right, so let's kind of. That's it right there. Okay, so we're at five volts, and what we need to do now is we need to take the. He's saying that when he plugs in this five volts, he has no activity whatsoever, no sign of activity on the, um, on the on the. Uh, set up at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one pin, push it in there. Oh, if I can, let me see if I can get it to stay. I'm going to take the ground. And I'm just going to touch it somewhere where we have ground. Is, is I can't read this right because it's so darn small. Ah, me. So hold on. Ah, it's bright. Hold on. Oh, it's a good thing I put these on. I was reading this incorrectly. Okay, so I have ground. This is probably not the best way to do this actually, but I'm trying to not I have to solder on this, but I have to. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to go right here. And you do see a light come on. I think you guys saw that too. Let me do this again. So we're going to go 5 volt to the power here. And we're going to go ground right here. I can't see anything because of the angle I'm at. But let me just try this. So we do have a red light that's come on. That's pretty much it though. Not really anything else. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the ground is also here, so just touch this one. And then we go over here and touch this one. Do this first. Yeah. So no matter how I do it, we're getting we're getting something. So I really can't tell you why it's not working on his end. You know, oddly enough though, I will say that it does look like we have water stains, water marks on this board. This board was open brand new. I mean, I don't understand that. All right, anyway, so that's the test. So the answer to take back to the customer is that yes, the five volts does work to it. I'm not sure why his is not working, but uh, it does work. But you know, you can look right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just zoom in there. Look at that. You see that right there? Stop beeping, please. Look, right here. All that that's, it looks like a water stains. It's a brand new board. So I really don't know what the deal is. Eh, sometimes I just really wonder about this quality control that everybody's claiming to have. Um, but in either case, all right. So I hope that helps. Uh, let me get out of that there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? There. Boom. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps it up then, guys. I just need to do that quick video to show them because the question was whether uh, it did function on 5 volts. It says it does, so we put it to the test and it does. Hope that helps, guys. If, as always, please, you know, these are quick videos. We don't mind doing them, so if you'll just subscribe, it does help support these efforts. I appreciate it very much as well. God bless, be safe, and uh, have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.